Hey there, I'm Mike Johnston. This is the Indie Media Show. Today, my guest is David A.R. White, producer, director, actor, comedian. He's done it all since being in Hollywood, and he's done it while being a Christian, which is interesting. And he's here to talk about his new movie, Holy Man Undercover. And uh, that just came out this week on Video On Demand. You can get it on Amazon. And um, in the movie... Um, there is John Schneider, Fred Willard, and Clint Howard. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I wanted to talk to David about um, what it means to make a Christian film and um, how that plays against general Hollywood and what the market is and things like that. So uh, I'm going to talk to David in a second, but first let's have a look at the trailer for the film Holy Man Undercover. You'd never think that I was born in one of the last pure Amish communities. It was a place as far from the devil as it was from modern dentistry. You call if you have any trouble. Martha, we're Amish. We don't have phones. You know, Jesus can help you more than I what? can. We don't need Jesus, man. We need your money. Get it! What were you thinking? I'm Roy. Roy Weisberg. Annie Logan. Do you know who Annie Logan is? She's a television producer. She can make you a star kid. Freeze. I owe you my life. Probably wasn't even loaded. Think you can lose the hat? The devil doesn't wear a black Amish hat. Do we have to cast an unknown? Why would they want to watch him on television? This is a disaster. A train. Who's our next cowboy star? It is you! Farm boy with the funny hat. Go back to Kansas. This is no place for you. But there's no place that I'd rather be. The Lord has given me so much joy inside that I, I just, I want to share it. Roy, are you excited about being on the show? I think it'll give me the opportunity to reach a lot of people for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is your chance to be one of the elite, the covert group known as Holy Men Undercover. Are you with us? Do I have to decide now? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, David. Hey. So my, my first question has to be, what actually defines a film as being like a, a Christian film? Because I, I always run into that in music because, oh, this is Christian rock. Well, it really doesn't sound any different than anything else unless you really pay attention to the lyrics, you know. So, so what, what for you defines a Christian film? Um, I, well, a Christian faith-based film is, is to me, it's, it's, a, it's a film with, like, probably a message about God or, you know, dealing with um, uh, something that will uplift and inspire your spirit. Well, with Holy Man Undercover, where we we just saw the trailer there, what what did we see in there? Yeah, well, um, you know, Holy Man is a, it's kind of a faith based comedy, you know. But uh, um, for example, like the the end, you know, it's it's a it's a movie about peer pressure and and uh, about a guy, you know, coming to Hollywood to 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 be a missionary. And, uh, and then he ends up starting to lose his values. He starts listening to everybody around him. And, and before long, he um, is unhappy. And I think that, you know, that parallels quite a lot with, you know, no matter who you are or what faith you are, if you are yourself, you know, the, the message of that, the, the, I think the, the innate, the deepest theme of that film is just be you, you know. Be the way that you were created, and and use your gifts and your talents, um, and you will be, you know, you'll be at peace with yourself if you, if you start listening to, you know, in the movie, Roy starts to listen to his crazy uncle, he starts to listen to, you know, the TV network um, about who he should date, um, how he should dress, you know, all of this stuff, what he should believe in. 
And when he starts to do that, he loses himself and he hits rock bottom and, and, uh, and by the end, you know, it's, it's his, his way back is, is going back to his roots. Well, how much of that film actually in some way kind of mirrors your own life? I mean, you grew up a, a nice Mennonite boy in the Midwest and now yeah. you're out there in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, a lot, actually. It uh, it started out as my one-man show, you know, when we were writing it originally. Uh, Jill Gatsby and I wrote this, this the theater show, and we were performing it in churches and theaters, and... Uh, um, I found that my life really wasn't as interesting. I moved to Hollywood when I was 19 from a Mennonite background. So it wasn't Amish, you know, it, 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 and this kind of like went along the whole movie is it just started to become more and more, um, exaggerated. So instead of Mennonite, I thought Amish was funnier. And then, uh, instead of being, you know, when I moved to Los Angeles, I got cast on a show called Evening Shade, um, with Burt Reynolds. And it was a sitcom in the early nineties uh, that was on. Um, but, that inherently wasn't as funny as being cast as Satan on a nighttime soap opera. So it turned into that. Well, how hard is it to actually maintain, like, your own personal value system when you're out there, you know, in that Hollywood, you know, stereotypical environment? Yeah, you know, um, it definitely was a ride for me. I mean, I, again, I moved here from, uh, I went to Moody Bible Institute in Chicago, Illinois, right out of, uh, Kansas. And, you know, my town was 2,000 people. I, was, I grew up in an ultra-conservative household um, with an ultra-conservative parents. And and then I went to Bible school. And so when I got here at 19 and then they ended up on a show six months after I was here, you know, you go through, you definitely, your eyes are opened. I was very innocent. I was very naive. And uh, and I, I I was definitely opened, uh, opened my eyes to, you know, a lot of of what the world offers. Um, how how did John Schneider, one of the Duke boys, get involved in the film? Yeah, John. You know, John did a movie with us called Hidden Secrets, and uh, and I think that was you know for celebrities, there's always like you get one testing ground as an independent filmmaker. You know, you get whatever you do when you have you know when you have stars in your movie. Make sure that on their first outing that they have a good time, and and John had a good time in Hidden Secrets, and uh, and he was very pleased with the the way the product turned out. And so, um, when I called him up, uh, you know, I just personally sent him an email and said, "Hey, would you read the script I'm doing? I'm I'm uh, one of the writers, and you know, I'm directing it and starring in it, and and uh, and I think it'd be funny for you to play, you know, the role of Satan." And uh, and he did it, and John has a great sense of humor, and so he just embraced it, and he came, and, and uh, he actually wrote that song. <laughs> he, he really, he came up with the, uh, I mean, we had the words, but he came up with the song in the movie, like, in 20 minutes. I mean, he's he's really amazing. Not a lot of people know this, or at least I didn't, but he has 11 albums out, so, you know, wow. he's, he's an accomplished musician as well. Cool, and the movie is available um, on Amazon as video on demand and DVD, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, blockbuster.com, and it's also on pureflix.com. It's on, you know, it's on a lot of, uh, and and hits uh, hits all the CBA stores um, at the end of July, and uh, and it's in some of the mainstream stores now. Cool. So, in addition to that, are you still doing like stand-up comedy? Yeah, you well, you know, I don't really do stand-up comedy. I do like one-man show comedy, and uh, so yeah, I just uh, just launched a new uh, new show called Run On. We shot a DVD of it, and. Uh, we're going to start touring that out, hopefully, uh, as we get into the fall. Do you have, like, a website where people can follow your schedule or whatever? Uh, sure, yeah, David, uh, davidarwhite.com, and, um, and then that will have the schedule on it for the, for the new, yeah, where I'm performing. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you.